But now, let's go to the Sugar Bowl Stadium for the LSU Clemson Football Classic. Third down, 11 yards to go. The third has the ball. He fumbles. Bugler recovers for LSU. It's no gain, and the game is over. That's it. LSU is one. The Tigers of LSU, seven. The Tigers of Clemson, nothing. And Coach Frank Howard of Clemson extends his congratulations. The Silver Anniversary Sugar Bowl Classic is now his first. He stands on his own 28. He gets a pass from center. He boots it and gets another nice kick away going way downfield. Billy Cannon watches it bounce. He takes it on his own 11. He comes back up field at the 15. Stumbles momentarily. He's at the 20. Running hard at the 25. Gets away from one man for 30. Still runs the 25. At the 35. At the 25. He's down to 50. He's in the field. some 89 yards for a touchdown. Listen to the cheer for Billy Cannon as he comes off the field. Great all merit. The ball is on the two-yard line. Left half by Flankert. Elmo is the quarterback. He takes, he fakes, he's running hard. He's hit right on about the goal line. He does not score. He does not score. Then LeBlanc hit him. LSU 21-yard line. DePoyster tries a 37-yard field goal. But the ball is blocked by Michelson. And Griffin finally recovers for LSU at the Wyoming 46. Second and seven for the Cowboys. Toscano fakes, drops back to pass. He throws to Huey. The ball bounces off his hands, and Griffin intercepts for LSU at the Wyoming 34. He returns two yards to the Cowboys' 32-yard line. Second down, goal to go now. Stokely again hands off to Smith, and this time he cracks left guard for a yard and the touchdown. Third and eight for LSU. Stokely fakes and drops back to throw. He passes to Morrell in the end zone, covered by Spites and Stankis, but it's complete for eight yards and a touchdown. Second and ten for Wyoming. Toscano hands the kick, and kick is going to pass. He throws intended for Huey again, but is intercepted by Youngblood on the LSU 36-yard line. Second down and nine. Stokely back to pass. He throws complete to Morrell at the Cowboys' one-yard line. He goes in for the touchdown with 4.22 left to play in the game. That play good for 14 yards. It's third and long for the Tigers after the penalty. Hillman back to pass, under pressure, throws deep down the middle. And the pass is caught by the run between two defenders. A gain of 20 on third and 19. From the two-yard line, Hillman hands to LeBlanc, and he scores the touchdown. LSU leads Florida State 30 to 27. Thirty-six could be a passing down. Jones has two receivers to the right. Goes back in the pocket. Cocks his arm. Shoots one. It is complete at the 15. That's Hamilton. He's in for a touchdown. And the Tigers lead Notre Dame six to nothing. Ken Cleavis was the defender on the play. And he was whipped handily. A 36-yard pass play. Hamilton gets a touchdown. And the Tigers are full of zing. Leading Notre Dame six to nothing in the first quarter. With Huff, the fullback, and Julius behind Brown. He doesn't make it. Andy Huff is up the goal line, but doesn't make it. He's rolled back a half yard. The Tigers have prevented Notre Dame from making a first down or a touchdown. A very tight, strong eye to the right. Brown, the quarterback, fourth down and one to go. Rolls off to the right, looking for a receiver. Shoots it in the end zone. Incomplete. LSU again holds the pass intended for Parker. Broken up by linebacker Lloyd.
McBride. Leading Notre Dame, 7-0. Jones in a passing condition on the field. Takes the ball, goes back to throw. Hats the ball, half time, shoots it. Complete to Hamilton at the 15. He's at the 10. Hamilton scores at 13 to nothing. The defensive end for LSU, the wishbone. And here's Brown passing off it, looking for Gatewood in the end zone. It's intercepted. Intercepted by the Tigers. In the end zone. 